hi welcome back in this video I'm going to teach currency converter example I already designed the form so here this one should be the adding currency converter inside the form I'm going to put one panel this is a panel inside the panel I have put three labels amount from to one text field I have put it here this text field I'm going to change the name it as txt amount press enter key here I'm going to change the font size little bit bigger or oh, here I have changed it as little bit bigger bold 14 okay now here I'm going to drag the combo box this is a combo box you can drag from the palette click and drag it here over here here I need from USD from USD so select this one here go to the properties this is a property you can see the model model property here I am going to click on this one three dots here I am going to write here as USD click ok the currency I have selected as USD now the same combo box I just control C to copy control V to paste get the another copy you have to align like this here I am going to convert currency so here click click this one model here I am going to uh, the country the USD to Indian and Sri Lankan currency so you have to write here Indian rupees Sri Lankan rupees click ok that's it after that I need one button this button I am going to drag it over here this button I am going to change the text as convert press it key. that's it but we designed the form successfully this is a simple design okay so this one should be the name txt amount this one I am going to name it as click on this one txt from press enter key select this combo box txt to this name will be right perfect now let's go to the code part so select the button right click if add event handler action action perform. so inside the event first what I'm going to do is here I'm going to create the variable double so double dot so total and create the variable total after that we have to write create another variable double amount equal you have to write here you have to convert it as double so double dot pass double the amount text field name what's the name of the amount txt amount dot get text this is the name of the text field we gave the name of the text field txt amount this is the text field name here give txt amount what's the amount you are enter on this text field it assigned to the variable amount variable after that we have to go to the condition part now, le now let's back to our design so here from we, ha we have only one currency USD two we have uh, two choices Indian rupees and Sri Lankan rupees here USD if you are select the USD if you are select as Indian rupees the total should be calculated if you are select as Sri Lankan rupees it will be calculated as the total okay. it will be calculated based on the currency you are selected here 
from the combo box. So let's back to our source. So here, so you have to given if t x from text field dot combo box there will be the method called get selected item. But the item you are selected from the combo box. To there will be the, you have to convert as two string method equal UST. UST is a currency. If you are select as from currency UST and we have to put and operator txt2 dot get selected item dot to string method equal you have to write Indian rupees Indian rupees Indian rupees what I are doing here is not single quotation it's a double quotation that's why I show there eh? not a single quotation it should be the double quotation that's why it's shown shown there right perfect rupees now we have to write Here we have to write dot. We have already created the variable dot. Dot equal amount. What is the amount you are given on this text field? It assigned to the variable this. Here we have to multiplication into. I just give the currency rate, current currency rate of Indian Indian rupees. I have given here as 71. 71 rupees. Right. If the user select as Sri Lankan rupees, so you write else if you have to type txt from the same. We no need to write again by again. You just select the same. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Right. Else if txt from uh, USD txt get selected item you have to type here Sri Lankan rupees Lankan rupees that's it you have to write here as the same talk this one you have to just control C to copy control V to paste here here you have to give the rate of Sri Lanka so I'm going to give here as 200 rupees you have to convert as 200 rupees here okay that's it after that what I'm going to do is here you have to print it as print it print it into uh, one message box the total we have to pin print it into the message box so here we have to write how to write the message box you have to write j option pan message box you have to type first letter should be capital second also cop uh, capital after that oh, oh, uh, simple after that you have to write pan capital dot so message dialog so message dialog you have to type here null here the you have to type here you have to use your your amount will be the amount will be you are use concatenated operator dot this dot it calculate and assign to the dot variable dot dot to string method you have to call this dot uh, you have to write dot dot to string method you have to write like this you can get like this uh, here the problem here I'm sorry you have to write string dot value of here we have write dot okay perfect now it's working right that's it now the same thing I just control C to copy control V to paste here as well your amount will be this one okay so let's run and check whether it's working fine or not 
right now i'm going to enter the enter as uh here right hundred dollars select as indian rupees click convert here 100 rupees will be calculated 100 rupees will be calculated because this is the current rate of indian so uh, under usd indian rupees will be calculated as this one this range if you are select as sri lankan currency under dollar it will be convert as 20000 okay it will convert it it will be uh, convert according to the currency you are selected here if you are select as indian rupees 100 it will be convert this range if you are select as sri lankan rupees it will it will be you can get the answer is this it's very simple okay very simple right hey, this is a simple code you have to write first you have to write uh, from usd and we have to use and operator why we are using and operators mean if both conditions should be true it will be work right so we have to select usd and indian rupees so we have to calculate this uh, otherwise if you are select usd and sri lankan rupees it will be calculate this one right i hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you for watching i will see you in my next lecture